Hello, fellow comic book lovers, collectors, and aficionados. Vin Crew here with his uh, current comic book call. And uh, before I get started here, I just want to thank everybody who uh, uh, took advantage of the sale I did recently on Instagram. Uh, it's usually it used to be called uh, Support a Comic Book Addict Sale. Now I called it a Why Not Sale. Uh, simply why not right <laughs> uh and i really i say it all the time and i'll always say it, it seems like is that i it's always so humbling when uh when when i go into these uh uh sales i'm so worried that i'm not going to be able to sell any books or I'm not going to have anything anybody's going to be interested in and it far exceeds my expectations and i truly 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 am thankful for that so i really really appreciate it i uh, got a con coming up in a week or two so uh i'll be able to hopefully show some nice books that i picked up uh because of you guys and um with that i'm gonna get started with this uh uh um uh, current uh, haul here that I've got. It's going to consist of a few things, some IG, uh, eBay, um, half price books, uh, there's a local comic shop, and a sale that a friend of mine was having. I, it was a two, I'll, I'll get into it when I hit a show those books but uh, actually it's these books right here. <laughs> um, but it was a two day, day sale and I couldn't make it the first day uh, because I was getting brand new countertops installed on that particular day. and uh, Or no, that well, they were installed the day before, but the plumber had to come in and hook everything up that, that first day. So I wasn't able to make it. Uh, and like the great uh, Ricky Bobby from Talladega Night says, if you're not first, you're last. <laughs> and uh, so I still ended up going the second day just to show some support and, uh, and, and that sort of a thing. And they were just dumb. Uh, it was his he they had opened a brick and mortar store and they were celebrating their one year anniversary for doing that and uh, they actually held the sale in a church which was really interesting but really worked out well lots of space um, so even when if there was a lot of people it was spaced out enough that you probably weren't you know elbowing each other when I got there on the second day of course it's a lot slower but anyway um so i picked i found a couple scotty young books this bully wars number one i believe this is a variant and this is a variant or a special edition to i hate fairyland um you know i love scotty young so every time i see him i pick him up this dark horse presents i only bought it because it was hellboy and it was a dollar uh what the this is the last issue and the first uh, appearance of Peter, Peter Porker, Spider-Ham. So I think it's Peter Porker, is it? I don't know, but Spider-Ham. Uh, and then Suicide Squad, number one, the second print. This George R.R. R. Martin, number nine variant. I just really like the cover of this. Um, Game of Thrones. It's Game of Thrones, but they call it Clash of Kings. I don't know. Uh, another cover I really like quite a bit is this uh, Hellcat number three variant. I don't recall who the artist was on this, but uh, but I, it was one of these Women of Power or something like that months and uh, Women of Marvel maybe. Uh, another cover I really liked. I thought at first this was Art Germ, but it isn't. I forget once again who did this, um, but it's not Art Germ, but very, very reminiscent of Art Germ, this uh, Sensational She-Hulk number three variant. And that's it there for that sale. So thank you. Thank you so much, Kent, for the sale. Uh, some half price book stuff. Went there and very, very happy to find these next two books. This one especially, the Spider-Man Red Sonja um, Michael Turner miniseries that he did uh, back in, was this the 90s, I believe? Anyways, um, I was missing two issues. Never really wanted to go on eBay to find them. But I always thought I could find them in the wild. And I did find them. This one here cost me seven dollars but i think it's like a twenty dollar book on ebay this is uh the last issue number five most coveted 
And then number four, I got this for $3. I found the whole set, but I only kept these two. So um, then I also found um, this official handbook of the Marvel Universe. This is the back in black Spider-Man. It's really not worth anything, but I really like the cover with, uh, you know, the black suit Spidey and all of his, pretty much his whole uh, um, rogues gallery is right there. So you got uh, Venom and Craven and Vulture and on and on. So that it was pretty cool. Uh, then I found this New Mutants number 14. These stickers are on the bag, they're not on the book, but this is the first appearance of Magic or first time she goes by Magic or something. Um, X Factor number 15, the only reason I picked it up is it's a newsstand and this is where Angel loses his wings. A uh, couple of what ifs, um, X-Men won the um, uh, action figure variant. And it's a newsstand, too. I don't know if these actually were newsstands back then or not, but I don't know. And then what if the Punisher, uh, I can't remember if this is that one that was really popular or not. I would doubt that the action figure is as popular as the original cover, but I know that there was a what if Punisher, I think it was when he, if he became Spider-Man or Spider-Man became Punisher. I can't remember, but... Um, I haven't had time to do research on this. I've been so busy with uh, with the sale, and I've been trying to, uh, and I want to try to get a a, 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 a a video out because it's been a month since my last one. So, all right. And then this was probably the one I was the happiest to come across was the Goon Number One Special. The reason I really liked it is I'm not the biggest. Uh, signature guy I would never stand I shouldn't say never but at this point I have no intention of ever standing in a line at a con to get my book signed um, but this this is signed by Eric Powell and with a really nice remark there of the goon so she showed it to me behind the counter and I said yep gotta have that one <laughs> so I uh, ended up buying this I think it was forty dollars I don't think that's too bad of a price on that. I mean, I probably could have got a, well, not with the remark and all that, but I don't know. That's a fair, definitely a fair price. So I think without the remark and the signature, it's about a $50 book. So, you know, and I love the goon. So it was a no brainer. All right. Some eBay stuff. Finally bit the bullet on this one here. Uh, Tesla strong. It's a, um, uh, uh, Bruce Tim cover. And um, just uh, one I've, I've wanted for quite a while. It probably sells for about $20, $25 on eBay fairly consistently. People, of course, ask a lot more. But uh, if you're patient, you, you can get it for a lot less than that. Um, all right. Uh, this one here, shout out to Poor Man's Comics. I'm sure he's uh, got this. He's got me hooked on these... Um, uh, uh, Oh my God! With uh, copper tone uh, uh, homage covers, just y yay another homage that I need to start collecting. <laughs> Thanks, Jason. Um, but this is Florida Man number one. Got this from the my comic shop, uh, and yeah, it's pretty cool looking. So why not? Um, Dark Wing Duck number one, the first appearance of Dark Wing Duck in comics. And this one, I'm another another homage collect uh, thing that I collect is the uh, Purple Rain homages. I'm from Minneapolis, so anything prints, yeah, I'm all over. Uh, and uh, this is obviously a Purple Rain uh, uh, homage cover, so had to grab that one. Uh, another <laughs> homage collection I'm working on is I like the, um, this is Vanity Fair, I believe. Yeah, Vanity Fair, the Demi Moore uh, pregnancy cover. Uh, there's a couple magazine covers that, that I swipe quite a bit. This being one and then the Rolling Stones with um, Janet Jackson uh, is another one. So, um, so this is Shanda the Panda number 21 can't remember who i saw show this 
and I immediately had to try to hunt it down and uh, not that easy of a book to find. Uh, so happy to have finally found this one. Uh, Darkling, this is a store exclusive. This is a homage to a Bruce Tim super expensive Vampirilla cover. So it was fairly inexpensive. So I went right to the store to buy it and it was like, I don't know, under 10 bucks, I think. I, I don't know. It wasn't that much. So it looked really cool. I liked it. So I grabbed it. Uh, this book here is interesting. This is Roger Rabbit number 12. This book here is a somewhat controversial cover uh, because of the bondage aspect with Jessica there. And um, the uh, uh, and some inferences here that I, I can't. It says here... Um, in this issue, scandal, blackmail, slander, or does Jessica get, or, oh, and Jessica gets attacked by pigs. So it's kind of, uh, there's some, in you know, innuendo, uh, 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 double entendre kind of a thing going on there. So it's really, people are really starting to catch on to this. Now we're near the level of the Alf Rape Seal uh, cover, but uh, it's reminiscent of that. Uh, most people ask $30 for this on eBay. It can eat, sell quite often for $30. And um, it's it's a book you might want to look for when you're in the, uh, the, the kids section or the art section. Roger Rabbit, number 12. A rather sought after book. It's uh, I got a feeling it's only going to get more and more uh, uh, looked at and uh, and sought after. So uh, happy to finally add this one. And another one that's been on my list for a while. This is Combo Man. It's done by um, Marvel Comics, but it was it was an insert that was uh, it was obviously an ash can size that was part of those combos. It was a snack of the early two thousands, maybe or the nineteen nineties. It was a while ago, and it's interesting because if you look at. Uh, uh, key collector, which I know is a hot button for some people, but it goes over exactly what every body part is. You've got like uh, Iron Man's arms, you've got um, Punisher's chest plate. Every part of this is a part of a Marvel superhero. I think this is uh, Cyclops glasses, on and on. Um, so it's really cool. I like it a lot. Um, probably the most, once again, on eBay, everybody wants 60 to a hundred dollars for this book. There's one guy who's selling it for 30, which is eh, still a little bit on the high side. If you're patient, you can get this book for about 15, 20 bucks. Um, so it's really cool. Glad I had it, uh, able to add it to the collection. And another book I'm glad to add to the collection and is another homage set that I am working on. This is Trump versus Clinton, the adult coloring book. This obviously homage is Hulk 340. Uh, between the Hulk 340, Justice or Green Lantern 49, probably, um, and then probably the Purple Rain. I those are probably the three it seems like that i really focus on but it seems like i'm collecting way more homages than i should be um but anyway this is a book not an easy book to find i don't even know the whole history about this i could care less about trump and hit hill uh um, hillary clinton um but i just wanted it for the homage once again people on ebay i think the cheapest you'll find this is probably 50 bucks um, I was patient and I think I got it for 30. So it's still not a cheap book by any stretch of the imagination, but, um, it, it's, it's really cool. I really like it and glad to add it to the collection. All right, let me get these out of the way here. Here are some more, uh, books that I found at half price books 
I forgot I had put them into my sale, and uh, I, I'll just show them because they're kind of cool. Uh, this is Anne Rice's Interview with a Vampire Number 1. This was a hot book uh, when it was uh, probably about a year ago, and uh, it was probably a $30, $40 book back then. Now, it, like you, you can see, I was trying to sell it for 10 bucks, but still cool. Um, then you got this one here I was really happy to find, uh, Gen 13, number 12, J. Scott Campbell. Love this cover. Uh, it's a newsstand in, on top of that. So this is already a coveted book. Easy $10 book if it's just a direct edition. Um, so I'm um, happy to add that. Uh, another one here. This is Deadpool Core. Uh, this is the Guns N' Roses uh, homage. This is can sell for as much as $25 on eBay um, and uh, more probably closer to 20 on a cons uh, consistent basis but just a rather coveted uh, book obviously and this book here I was extremely happy to find Superman Man of Steel 19 third print DC Universe logo uh, this is the doomsday and all that so very very happy to add, uh, found that all right, so that was all of the half price books. Sorry. All right, um, this is eBay still. Um, this was a gentleman I found uh, who had some books that I thought were a little interesting. Um, these a couple of Scotty Young books I didn't have access. Number one, Scotty Young, and Spider Woman. Number one. This book here can go for about twenty bucks uh, on a good day. Um, then I found Dead at 17, Rough Cut, another Copper Tone, um, homage. Earth 2, number 22, the Mad Variant, I am working on this. Uh, as I, I'll explain it again, uh, in DC New 52, which was right before Rebirth, the, uh, they were, they, uh, for quite a few uh, months, they ran these theme months that went through all, all of the titles. Uh, it, and some of the more coveted are the Steampunk and the Batman 66 and um, a few other ones. And uh, in uh, two of the months, they ran a Mad Variant month. Uh, the first month, I think, was a 1 in 10 and the second month was a 1 in 25. I could have those reversed. Please forgive me if I do. Um, but was uh, So I'm working on, on those uh, two months there. And this is just another one I needed to complete the set. Um, all right. So then I went to this local store that's uh, within walking distance. Just opened up a little while ago. They got in some fresh books. The young girl that was, she just took over managing the place, and um, uh, I kind of bombarded her because they're nice enough to, I know people get on edge. I do, too, to be honest. Um, when you pull books and you have to bring them up to get them priced uh, at the counter, but they do that because they got a whole crap ton that's already priced and bagged and boarded but they'll let me look through the stuff that they haven't processed yet so that's why they check up the pricing and you know they're usually they're not overly pricey so they're if they're a coveted book they're usually right on the money usually um so um but i found this lethargic lad um i showed the lethargic lad not too long ago which is all of these lethargic ads seem to be homage covers and the one i had showed earlier was a uh, spider-man one mcfarland homage but this is an homage to the new or the first appearance of the uh, legion of superheroes this is number one. It's a first uh, homage to Superman, obviously. Um, Nova, Human Tart Rocket. This is a somewhat looked after issue. Uh, nothing super expensive. Maybe a $10 book on a good day. But with Spider-Man, and this was a very short-lived series. I think it went seven issues. I believe it might be volume two of Nova. And, um, and this is one of the two issues that you're looking for. Uh, Elements, Elementals Swimsuit Spectacular 1996. Um, Wart Blade. I like these spoof books. So if I ever see a spoof book, I always pick it up. 
they even they, they even did it just like uh they because that would have been turner's signature you know or uh name right there and it's kind of cool <laughs> uh splitting image number one i always pick these up if they're a buck or two because I, as i keep mentioning the on the back cover that's what i always look at they have these uh spoofs let me just show you uh, this one here this one is happens to be Darkhawk, i think was uh, the character's name but um, you can see, yeah, who traction shock, but every one of them uh, had different ones. There's a spoof on Spawn. There's a spoof on Savage Dragon. On and on and on. So I'm trying to get all of them. So and it was only two bucks. So why not? Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number two out of the Image Run. Wonder Woman Gallery, just a really beautiful Brian Bolin cover. I love Brian Bolin on Wonder Woman. Had to grab that. Lobo Mask. Um, this is the complete set one and two. I like Lobo. I like the mask. <clears throat> this was probably the two I paid the. I, they, they were kind of pushing it, but I never see these rarely. They they asked eight dollars each, so yeah, why not? Uh, Satan Satanica, the this is a Frazetta cover. There's also a Dave Stevens cover to this uh, this run too. So those are probably the two most coveted covers. So happy to get that. Um, Spawn number 77, paid six bucks for it. Um, this is like a $30, $40 book. This was probably the one of the big books I got. Well, the big book I got there was uh, Hulk 449, the first appearance of the Thunderbolts. She gave me a very good price on that. Um, let me get that out of the way. And the last stack of books here gonna be a fairly short video eh, maybe not did a lot of talking this time i was kind of worried i only had about 50 books <laughs> i thought it was going to be like a 10 minute video but uh, i don't know how people can can spread out videos it amazes me they got a great talent to you know to uh storytell and all of that when they can make a 30 minute video with six or seven books um and make it uh, enjoyable and nice and easy to watch um but this is wildcats number one j scott campbell cover uh top cow secrets uh winter lingerie edition a awesome sylvester cover uh, this is the other Nova, uh, number seven. This is the last issue. It has Venom. This book here, on a good day, can go for $20, $25. So um, you might want to look for that one when you're out. A couple of Adam Hughes, Wonder Woman's, number 139, 142. Um, first full appearance of the Black Flash, number 141. Another copper tone variant here, Wildstorm swimsuit number uh, 1997. Uh, Grendel, first appearance. This is Grendel volume two, first appearance of the female Grendel. Uh, and then th these books here came from AB Comics on uh, Instagram. Uh, like I always say, I always buy from him whenever I can, but it's harder and harder because he puts out such awesome sales and they go just quick you got to be refreshing it like you're a like a, you're a junkie and that's uh that's crack <laughs> um but this is danger girl i believe number three special j scott campbell uh this is a variant to batman arkham knight genesis number one this here, uh, Avengers Initiative, the Marvel 70th anniversary. He had a bunch of these Marvel anniversaries. God, I wish I would have uh, been able to get more of them, but they just go so quick. Um, the real Ghostbusters, number one, first appearance of the Ghostbusters in comics. And Birds of Prey, number eight, the coveted kiss uh, between uh, Oracle and uh, Nightwing. Um, then another person on IG, oh, I can't remember who it was. I'm so sorry. Um, but I picked up this Detective Comics number 15 combo pack. Uh, Krusty number one, 
from Simpsons. The Hulk number one. This is a uh, Donkey Kong homage. I think it might be a Hastings variant, maybe. I could be wrong on that. Uh, Deadpool, Merc with a Mouth. I always pick up these Deadpool, Merc with a Mouth. They all homage um, different uh, movie things and whatnot. Uh, this is 1 billion BC with uh, Raquel Welch. Uh, New Guardians, number two. First appearance of Snowflame, the uh, villain with cocaine. Uh, Veronica, number 201, coveted uh, book here. Uh, this one here was probably the one I was happiest to get. I mentioned this book before. This is Secret Wars number one. This is the secret, or the, excuse me, the second print. You can tell by the black Spider-Man, um, uh, um, oh my God, uh, right here, whatever that box is called again, I'm sorry. Um, but normally it's the white uh, spider, it's a white Spider-Man uh, on UPC. And what makes this interesting is, is that this is, a, much harder to find in my experience, and B, it is the one that has the correct Galactus. Everybody wants, oh, it's I've got the error blue Galactus. Trust me, I, unless somebody can show me a white UPC Spider-Man with a corrected Galactus on it, or a newsstand that's, uh, that's a first print, I, I'm convinced every single first print Marvel Secret Wars has the error Galactus in it. I have looked at probably a hundred of these books, and I've never found one that is not the blue uh, Galactus. It's a first print. So i um, happy to add this to the collection again. And then the last book I found was just another Dave Stevens um, collection. or uh, uh, This is a magazine size, Sirens of Cinema. This is um, uh, just teasing cover uh, is uh, the uh, on this one right here. And uh, obviously anything Dave Stevens uh, that I can find at a reasonable price, I definitely pick up. So very, very happy to add this. And uh, yeah, it's 27 minutes. Boy, did I do some rambling. Please forgive me. Um, but thank you as usual for taking this journey with me. Vin Crew signing off.